Good river guide is somebody that uh, cares about the people in his boat, not just from a safety level, but from an experiential level. Uh, good river guide realizes that he's on the vacation with those folks and his mood and his actions and language will make a huge difference in their experience. I said the customer's not always right. It's not the way to run a business. You run a business by always supporting your employees, not by bowing to every whim of the customer. He can uh, either be on the vacation and have a good time with them or he can make them miserable and make them regret they spent that kind of money. I'm looking for somebody who is uh, personable, uh, intelligent, and flexible. So, you know, just because a customer wants something or thinks something is the way it should be doesn't mean that that's the way it actually works. There's a, a hierarchy based on how long you've been there and also slightly based on uh, probably Cisco's subjective opinion of you. Senior guides are they're just, uh, I don't know what to say. They're usually the prima donnas, you know, and they make all the young guides do their work for them. You know, that's a good question. It, it's, is it the, is it, is it the guides that have been perennial and perdurable, or is it just people working their way up? And I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a good thing and also a bad thing. Um, but, but it's not my thing. My philosophy is. The seven P's prior proper preparation prevents poor performance at six P's. Um, but no, no, it's, uh, on a serious note, uh, it's pr about prevention, right? You know, the best trip, the, nothing happens, then nothing ever goes wrong. And, and that's the way we, we plan it. Uh, so whenever uh, something does go wrong, uh, we've trained for that. No big deal. Keep calm. It's a very safe river. I was very privileged, I guess, as a, as a young child. My parents spent a lot of time taking us out uh, doing outdoor activities, and I really like that I get to share that with other small children because, you know, this might be what changes their world forever, just to be able to really appreciate this and come to love it. They're different people than you might meet out in the real world. Um, there's a whole different environment going on over there, a whole different hierarchy, kind of uh, rules that are in place just inside the boathouse or on the river that you don't see somewhere else. You don't want to film this. Cisco shouldn't see this. <laughs> he saw me dragging that boat. Don't he killed film me. the dragging of boats. <laughs> you kill me. God. God. Firing the fences. Um, We don't fire very many people here, but there's occasionally we do. Um, basically, it comes down to if you, whatever you've done, if it triggers my emotional response to get rid of your ass, then you're out of here. One of the guides was really bitching that she had to go with this uh, rookie guide. Uh, Miggs is his name. And uh, he's kind of a kook. He's from around here, but he's really good with uh, you know, your Yahoo customer. I think they, they, they bond, they get along. But she was, uh, the, the trip leader guide was really pissed that she had to go with Migs, you know. She didn't think highly of him as his first year. And... So you notice that we get along really well. Um, I think that's a really good observation. We're often in situations where we have to protect each other and have each other's back. And so it's to our benefit to really work well together and it's to the customer's benefit that we work well together so that's what we do. <laughs> uh, one thing about low water on uh, in a white water section like the race course which is hardly white water at this level but it, it teaches you about that section of river and teaches you where every single rock is and so when the water's higher and you see the, the, the currents you see where the waves are and stuff you understand what's underneath it because you can't see that when the, when the high water is there, but you know, seeing it at low water, you get an education on the, the, the river and the river bottom that tells you why things are the way they are and helps you understand the currents better at higher water. So that's that's, the and then low water also is uh, what the river normally runs, like all winter long, all spring, when it's not runoff season, the river's usually generally at those lower levels. So, so that's what I like about it, because the beaches are out, the gravel bars are there, it's clear, the fishing's good. You know, that kind of stuff, so 
High water, though, can't be beat, you know. The big waves crashing over the boat, blowing your hats off. They're screaming and yelling. They're, they're hanging on to your underwear if, you're, if they're behind you. It's, it's nothing like it. I've had, uh, it's just good. Safety is very important. Safety, uh, we have safety meetings uh, constantly, it seems like. Um, you know, before the trip, after the trip. Uh, you know, we talk safety during the trip. I don't know, I, can't, I can only think of a few times where I've actually had to be mean to get people to paddle like a one, and 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 usually that's on, usually it's on really giant water levels where I'm really scared. They should be scared if they're not, uh, you know. And then you just you you cannot afford a swimmer. You cannot afford a flip. You you must have a good run. The Taos box great example when it's running 3,600. That's a good level. 4,500, 6,000, almost 8,000. When you're running them like that. You have a swimmer; they're just gone. So you, so, so you, you, you can. I've, you've had to be. I've jabbed people in the back with my paddle before, you know. And you know, hey, you know, you gotta listen, stuff like that. There's only so much that I can do, and I, you know, I try my best to keep it all together. It's a really difficult job. You know, it's like herding cats, as they say. Um, but it's I. I really believe that uh, there's other forces uh, working in my life that have guided me to this kind of work, this kind of energy. And, uh, you know, my guardian angels, uh, they're keeping their eye on me and this company, and that's one of the reasons we've done so well.